All right, guys, so we're doing 6-4 today, which is rectangles, uh, some vocabulary for us. A rectangle is a parallelogram with four right angles. By definition, a rectangle has the following properties. All four angles are right angles. Opposite sides are parallel and congruent. Opposite angles are congruent. Consecutive angles are supplementary. Diagonals bisect each other. In addition, the diagonals of a rectangle are congruent. So then right here we have diagonals of a rectangle. If a parallelogram is a rectangle, then its diagonals are congruent. Diagonals of rectangles as well. The diagonals of a parallelogram are congruent, then the parallelogram is a rectangle, so it goes both ways. So when we're looking at this first example here. An X brace on a rectangular barn door is both decorative and functional. It helps to prevent the door from warping over time. So if ST equals three and 13 sixteenths feet, PS will equal seven and angle PTQ will equal 67. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill that stuff in. So PS, so this side is seven, PTQ is 67. And then ST is three and 13 sixteenths. All right, so QR is this side. We know for rectangles, opposite sides are congruent. So QR will equal seven as well. SQ is this whole length, and they gave us ST is 3 and 13 sixteenths. So we need to do 2 times 3, 13 sixteenths. And doing that by hand, we would just do 2 times 3, which is 6, and 2 times 13, which is 26, and then it'd be over 16 still. 26 over 16 can be reduced to one. So we add that one to the set six to make it seven. And then the leftover would be 26 minus 16, which is 10 over 16. So that would be reduced to seven and five eighths. Angle TQR. TQR is this side right here. All right. So we would do 180. 180 minus 67, because that's our angle right there, which would give us 113. And then we know that this angle will be good to this angle. And we're looking for uh, TQR, which would make this angle congruent as well, to, excuse me, this angle. And so, we would have, um, I'm sorry, that makes this way easier. I don't need to do this math. This is 90 degree angle, so this is gonna be 45 here, because it bisects that angle, and we know all the angles are 90. And then angle TSR, TSR, that'd be 45 as well, because again, the diagonal's bisected. So half of 90 is 45. All right, so now we've got a rectangle again for five, FD is 3X minus 7. FD is the diagonal. And then EG is the other diagonal. And X plus 5, we know the diagonals are congruent. So we can just do 3X minus 7 equals X plus 5. Subtract X from both sides. I get 2X minus 7 equals 5. Add 7 to both sides. I get 2X equals 12. So X will equal 6. I need to find EG. So I've got six plus five, and I plug it in for the X, which is equal to 11. Angle EFD, EFD is right here, and that's two X minus three, and then DFG, DFG. I'm sorry, it's EFD, so it's this angle, and then DFG, which is this angle right here, and we know that every angle on a rectangle is 90 degrees. So we're gonna do two X minus three equals X plus 12. So we'd have X minus three equals 12. So X will equal 15. We need to find EFD. So we have two times 15 minus three. 30 minus three is 27. All right, so prove ABDE is a rectangle and BC is congruent to DC. Prove that AC is congruent to EC. So one, 
we're going to write our given information. So A, B, D, E is a rectangle. And B, C is congruent to D, C. Which is given. So number two, I could say that angle B and angle D are right angles because it's a rectangle. So angle B and angle D are right angles. And that would be the definition of a, um, a rectangle. But the definition of a rectangle, I'd also say that this side, AB, is congruent to ED because of the definition of a right triangle. So I'm going to say that as well in the same step. So step two, that's the definition of a rectangle. So step three, if angle B and angle D are right angles, then they would be congruent. So angle B is congruent to angle D. That's the definition of a right angle. So now I have a side angle and a side mark congruent for both of these triangles. So I can say that those triangles are congruent. So triangle ABC is congruent to triangle EDC by side, angle, side. So then therefore AC is congruent to EC by C, P, C, T, C. All right. So now the last two. Graph each quadrilateral with the given vertices. Determine whether the figure is a rectangle and justify your answer using the indicative formula. So we're going to go ahead and plot this at negative 4, 3, which is W. X is at 1, 5. Y is at 3, 1. Z is at negative 2, negative 2. So this is our rectangle here. All right. And we can kind of see it looks a little off uh, by eyeballing it, but we need to use the slope formula. So if we do the slope of the opposite sides, they have to match up. So slope of x, y, and then the opposite side of x, y would be w, z. And they need to be the same, and we can just count these. So I'd go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then right 2. So w, 5, z's would be negative 5, 2. And x, y's would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. So that would be negative 4 over 2. Those are not the same, so this is not a rectangle. So now we're going to do the same thing down here. A is at 4, 3. B is at 4, negative 2. C is at negative 4, negative 2. And D is at negative 4, 3. So here's our rectangle. All right, this time we're using the distance formula instead of slope. So we're just counting because these are all lined up perfectly. We can just count. If they were at an angle like this one up here, we'd have to use the distance formula. But since we can just count, we can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 on this side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Eight on that side, so they match up. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So they all match up. They're all good. Opposite angle or opposite sides are congruent. So the rectangle is a rectangle because oppo sides are congruent. And that's all for six four.